underneath yon apricot tree. I see all sorts of apricots on the ground on there, but I don't see any on the tree. So either people are bringing them to eat or they're not dropping while I'm looking. As they approach the stage, Bill Mort from Anamosa, Iowa. David Evers from somewhere in between the Mississippi and Comanche, Iowa. He lives on a little cabin out there where it ain't the end of the world, but you can see it from there. Rock Creek, yeah, right. The Rock Creek, what are you? I thought you were the new crusty nostrils. <laughs> the Rock Creek Ramblers. Well, Bill Mort playing uh, a couple of kinds of mandolins. You might notice that he's doing this backwards. It's not your camera that's messed up. Once again, is this on? Can you hear me out there? David Evers on the five-string banjo. Jim Peart's going to play the fiddle. I think if I just get near it, it'll make a lot of noise. If I just get near it. J.C. Monroe on the guitar from DeWitt, Iowa. Has anybody here been to DeWitt, Iowa? It's a gateway to Nebraska, he says. Uh, I've been to DeWitt twice looking for somebody's house who didn't live there. And uh, last but not least, on the far edge of the stage, ready to fall off, the inimitable... Bingo! His name is... I've known him for, oh, a dozen years, and I found out his name last night. I wasn't here last night. That doesn't make any difference. I found out your name. He paid us. Somebody told me. So we're going to give him a second to... Uh, I didn't give it out, but I got it. <laughs> Uh, we got an extra weight. There's an extra mic here, which you can have as soon as I get done running my jaws. Okay, we're going to give them a second to uh, set up their own particular brand of sound here. The Rock Creek Ramblers, the Rock Creek Ramblers from <laughs> Iowa. From Iowa. Thank you, Greg. Thanks a lot. You know, once again, before we get started, and like Greg said, a lot of us were here at the very first one. And every year this thing has just grown and it just, it looks so much better every year. I'd like to thank Darcy, Darcia and Bob and Greg and the rest of them here, all the staff, the Granville Rotary, the Marshall Putnam County Pork Producers for putting out the great food, United Church, everything. It's, it's, it's great. Al Watson does the sound. He always does a beautiful job. So let's give these people a big hand even before we get going here. They deserve it. They've worked for it. They worked their little tails off all the time so yeah well not yeah. only necessary but it wouldn't be happening that'd be a shame because now it's happening and each like say each year gets better so and thank you folks because you're also what make you are what makes this happen thanks for coming out today <laughs> we're gonna do an old timey tune for you here <laughs> al <laughs> no, I forgot to. Uh, yeah, here we go. I forgot that you could talk to me again. <laughs> Boy, the first time Al did that to us, freaked me out. I thought voices from God. And I thought God. Don't start God to sounds take like that Al yet. Watson. Now, <laughs> <laughs> rock that cradle, Joe. <laughs>
Thank you very much. That was Rock to Cradle Joe. <coughs> Good old timey tune. A new tune? We're going to do another fill tune for you. That's uh, some of our favorites when we practice on. And we're going to do another one that is one we're currently playing now. It's called Pork and Deer. It is a little tune, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much. That was Pork and Deer. As Greg was saying, we're all from Iowa, and uh, that means idiots out walking around. No, no, not really, not really. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Dave and, and, and Jim and I got here yesterday, but Bingo and JC didn't get here till today. We found out when they left Clinton to come over here, they needed gas, and they stopped to get gas. And there was a sign there that said clean restrooms, and they've been cleaning restrooms and gas stations for a whole day now before they finally got here. It's hard to find a job nowadays. <laughs> now, we're going to do a singing tune for you. Now, we have uh, from the Arm and Hammer String Band, it's called We're Up Against It Now. Talk about hard times. Yeah, so we were talking to Tony Scarambolo from the uh, Bull of Bog Trotters last night, and he says, you know, I felt just like the title of that song when Bush and Quail got it. <laughs> Ooh. So this is Illinois now. <laughs> Their governor retired, you know. <laughs> you could be in trouble. Ready, boys? Ready, boys? Yep. Bro. 
Some farmers can relate to that. I think we're going to jump into A right now. Hey Jim, what? Can, can you get your like mic up a little bit and downward to your fiddle a little bit, maybe? Can you hear the fiddle out there? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. That's okay. <laughs> nobody, nobody even heard me ask if they could hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate that. This is paybacks that he gets, huh, Al? Yeah. Okay. One you heard a little bit earlier, only a little bit different.
Again, it's a beautiful day out. You know, that's one nice thing about the music in the wild here. We've always been pretty lucky about the weather. Last year was a little bit warm, but it's still been nice and sunny, and we've really kind of lucked out there. If we needed yeah. some more rain, we would take the rain, wouldn't we? Talking about Pike Road. We need some more liquor. <laughs> We're going to do a little tune now for you called Way Down the Old Plank Road. Want to burn it? Sure. Can you do it, Dave? Said we won't get drunk any less either, so. <laughs> not that we drink, we don't. Well, we, yeah, yeah, we try not to. Yeah, I'd rather not myself, personally. You'd rather not quit, you mean? Yeah. Mark Campbell's? Burn it? Yeah, Mark Campbell's. Uh, we should do the right time line. We're going to do another fill tune for you, and then after that, we're going to do a ragtime tune. Ragtime? Ragtime. Kind of ragtime. Uh, Ragged, but This ragged. next one we learned, uh, Bingo and Dave and I learned one Sunday afternoon down at Greg Stiles' place from Steve Rosen. It's called Martha Campbell's. Can you take this one off? I should take it one
Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. There's a little tune called Martha Campbell. We're going to do one now for you. It's called I'm Certainly Living a Ragtime Life. Hey, can we have a minute here to make a little phone announcement on the stage? Go for it. You betcha. That'll be the first time to be considered. Bob has an announcement here for you, ladies and gentlemen. That one's a good one. It's a little bit easier to get up here with all you guys standing back here for support. Yeah. <laughs> uh, earlier, earlier I came up on stage and we gave a little pitch uh, asking for donations to help defray the cost of entertainment. We're going to do that one last time because we've got quite a few people that came in uh, in this afternoon. Uh, we use this, uh, we're going to pass around these cans. Uh, we're collecting money to help pay for the artists. We'll ask you to uh, dig down a little deep and help us uh, defray the costs. Mainly, I'm afraid the board might uh, be looking for a... Well, thank you. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, you no. did. That's the only way we'd let Somebody's it flow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid the board may be looking for a new guy to help mow the grass out here. Uh, anyway, uh, we've got a board member that will help me. He'll be carrying around a yellow can, and I will. And if, uh, if we haven't hit you once already... You can help us by uh, maintaining our program and keeping them uh, free admittance. And uh, it also kind of gives us an indication that uh, you like this type of entertainment, and we'll see if we can get this, keep this program alive. Thank you. Down by the Riverside, that's the request. Can you boys play Down by the Riverside? They don't know the words to the tune. Can you sing? We do play down by the riverside regularly. They said that's a frequent location, but they don't they don't know the tune. Okay. We don't know that one either. <laughs> you know, and adding to what Bob said too, by the way, you know, if you take time out and go up there and buy a can of pop or a t-shirt or something, all that's all, all the purchase you make really helps to, to you know keep the income generated here and you know the products you serve are great and it all goes for a good cause and does keep this thing alive, so and thank you folks for doing that. Because you're the ones who make it happen. <coughs> We're going to do a tune now called I'm Certainly Living a Ragtime Life. Ready? A one, a two, you know what to do. I didn't belong to see, but now you 
can't lose me. I got a ragtime dog and a ragtime cat. A ragtime piano and my ragtime lad. I wear ragtime clothes from my hat to my shoes. I read a paper called the ragtime news. Got ragtime habits and my dog tells me. I sleep in ragtime, I rag all day. I got ragtime troubles with my ragtime wife. I'm certainly living in ragtime life. Certainly living a ragtime life. James Peart, fiddler on the vocals there. Doing just a fine job, I thought. <coughs> Almost chill time now. Huh? We ready for uh, looking for money or something? Right? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> okay. This next tune we're gonna do, uh, I mean, everybody can relate to this. When you hear this one, everybody can relate to it. It's called I'm Looking for Money. Another ragtime. <laughs> I mean, who ain't looking for money? Trying to let me know? About old Stagger and Will. <coughs> yeah, Stagger and Willie's main character here. Not me. <laughs> Are we ready? Ready? Okay, here we go. Thought that'd be appropriate for you there. Okay. We're gonna jump into another gear here. 
Gonna go into A minor and do a couple modal tunes. First one uh, is not positively, positively identified to be an old Henry Reed tune. It's called Cold Frost and Morning. Next one is Elzik's Farewell. Thank you very much. Cold, frosty morning in Elzik's farewell. Pardon? What about sitting alone for the moon and back? How much time we got left? I didn't hear that. Uh, about 20 minutes. One more time? Wild. 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 Oh, Wildwood. Oh, Wildwood. Jeez. Let's get sitting alone. Man. We haven't really quite done that, but we'll, how about if we do something similar, something like uh, Bill Monroe? Real Road similar tune. song. Old Bluegrass. S sitting Bill alone Monroe in the tune. We like to do something a little bit different once in a while ourselves. This is real different for us. They're gonna let me sing. <laughs> Are you, are you no. <laughs> you make sure this mic works now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll sing real pretty, I promise. <coughs> promise. 
Actually, we've been training him now. It's, it's, it's working. It's getting better. You know, we still have to put him back in the cage at night, you know, and throw scraps of food at him, but he can sing now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think he resembles that remark. I resemble that statement. Who's going to take the lead on this one? One, two, three, one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sitting alone in the moonlight. Yeah, I think we're going to pick it back up here. Just a good little tune. Yeah, okay, let's do something. We've never played this song before in public. And after we're done, you'll probably know why. We did play it once in private. In the privacy of our own home, mind you. But anyway, this, this is... It's about a very familiar subject for the feather lover in you. It's about chickens. You're welcome to sing along. Pleaded, in fact, that we're pleading with you to sing along. Yes. We have a hard time spelling this one occasionally. That's right, our spelling yeah, is not yeah. too good. We have to spell in this song, we might need some help, so jump right in there. Especially you kids that are good in spelling, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you can help out. Do that real loud and they'll oh, hear you wow. too. Yeah. 
Have you ever thought about vocalism as a career? <laughs> okay, so here goes the spelling lesson. Who's gonna start? Bingo is. Somebody do it once. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> say we just taught him how to sing how can you expect to get a spell you know <coughs> come on his spelling has improved too <laughs> yeah he carries them inside the base shakes them they fall out picks them up and reads them that takes half an hour though can you do the medley? 